I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my video on quadratic equations. Here we have a test question which is a quadratic equation 3x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 has two distinct roots at x equals to minus 1 and x equals to 2. Determine the value of b and c. So I'll actually show you two methods to find this. So we'll say method 1 and then method 2. You can actually pause the video, use your own method, and then check with my solution. Now, first method is, we are given roots are x1 is this and x equals to 2. We could always write quadratic equation as x minus x1 times x minus x2, where x1 and x2 are the roots, right, times a. Now this a is given to us as 3 in this particular question. So what we will do here is we'll rewrite this function as 3 times x minus. First root is at minus 1, so it becomes plus 1 here. The second one is at 2, so we have x minus 2. Right. So we get our equation. Now let's expand. So we have 3 here. Let me put a square bracket. So when you multiply, you get x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2 and that gives you 3 times x squared minus minus 2x plus x is minus x minus 2 and when you open the bracket you get 3x squared minus 3x minus 6 and if you compare you have your solution which is b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to minus 6 is that correct so this is straightforward method which can be used very easily now here is a quicker way to do the same thing and that is to understand that we could write also quadratic equation as y equals to x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. Now all factoring you have done using this concept, right? So, so I hope this concept is clear to you. Very, very important concept, correct? Now in our case, I'll rewrite this equation as y equals to x square plus b over 3. We're just dividing by 3 x plus c over 3. Does it make sense to you, right? So we got all this. Now what you know here is that x equals to minus 1. That is the first root. And the second root is 2. So what is the sum? So sum will be x1 plus x2, right? Just add them. So we have minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. And what is the product? Product is x1 times x2 which is minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2. So if you use this, you get your equation as what? You get your equation as y equals to x squared minus sum, which is 1. So we get minus x plus product, which is minus 2. Got it? Now from this equation, since that is your equation, and you know by comparison, you just compare, right? So so b over 3 should be equal to minus 1, correct? So what we get here is that b over 3 is equal to minus 1. So b is equal to minus 3. First part. Second part, what you get here is that c over 3 is, is minus 2, right? So, so we'll now write c over 3 as minus 2 and that gives you c as minus 6 perfect so you don't even have to expand and you directly get your answer the answer will always be same perfect it has to be so you get the same answer but this is an alternate method which is extremely useful using sum and product so i hope the steps are absolutely clear Feel free to share them with your friends, write your comments and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.